welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Gold. Now, I before I start this episode, I know Pokemon X and Y just got uh, released recently, and just to let you all know, I will not be spoiling anything about those games, because I have yet to even play the game myself as well. So if you guys would return the favor, I would gladly appreciate it. I'm not going to spoil it for you, so please don't spoil anything about it for me. So I will not be talking about X or Y until probably way later in this Let's Play when the game's been out for a little while. And even then I won't discuss plot points. Alright, so let's go ahead and take on this Jigglypuff in my Pidgeotto. Man, I got so lucky on that Whitney battle. I mean, just saying, I should have paralyzed that Bell take earlier. Uh, you would have sailed my gust attack. Why would you do that, Jigglypuff? Is it because you like being annoying like in Super Smash Bros.? Why, yes. Although I am starting to grow a little more fond of Jigglypuff. My friend Josh and I have been playing uh, our Puffball team, or I'm Kirby and he's Jigglypuff. And oh man, they just work so well with each other. We like, destroy everything that's in our way. Yeah, sure we'll die easily, and we, we'll try not to play on maps like Corneria because of the low ceiling, and we can be killed fairly easily, like around 40 or 50% with most characters. But it's still a lot of fun. I mean, I get a real kick out of uh, playing the puffball team with my friend Josh. Definitely good times to play when we're in college and, well, life hits us hard and whatnot. Oh yeah, you're with her. In the Heart Gold and Soul Silver version, uh, these two are, uh, it's a double battle. And I like double battles. They were one of my favorite things. Oh yeah, Nenorino got knocked out, didn't he? Let's go ahead and train Flaffy then, because Flaffy's gonna need it. Forgot Ninorino got knocked out by Pseudo Wudo when I was trying to capture him. You know, it's just capturing him for collection purposes, that's about it. Really? Oh, you will, will you? Well, I haven't put asleep enough in this Let's Play, so uh, I don't want to be put asleep anymore. Alright, you're a psychic, huh? Named Greg. Cool name! I like the name Greg. Alright, Drowsy, let's see what you got against my Flappy. This Flappy took down Miltank single-handedly. Hey, that's quite an achievement, because I've never seen it before. Oh. Okay, well, Flappy's gonna take a little while to take out this Drowsy, actually. Not doing as much damage as I was hoping. Aha, it doesn't affect my Flappy. And I wonder when Flappy gets Thunderbolt. I don't know, honestly. I mean, I know gold and silver silver and crystal really well, I just don't know uh, as well as the first generation games that I've played. Like, even the remakes of Leaf Green and Fire Red, which I'll be doing Let's Play one of those on my channel. It just won't be uh, anytime soon. Because <laughs> after Pokemon Gold, I'll be taking a break from the Pokemon games a little bit. Because RPGs, RPG games take a lot more out of me to do Let's Plays on and record compared to, like, a Resident Evil game for me or a Zelda game or something. Even though that game has, like, RPG elements and whatnot. Alright. Oh, wow, my game just lagged there a little bit. Sorry. Alright. Oh, wait. Let's go ahead over here, because there are some berries. Red. Oh, my bad. I meant to say apricorns. There are apricorns over here. You know, the one thing about the Mac that I like and dislike at the same time, and I'll describe... Uh, why it is, is, is like the texting function. I'm not sure how to cancel, or at least turn off the texting when I want to record things off my screen, and so sometimes it'll lag when I get a text and it goes to my computer. Oh, you're sunny, eh? Oh, yes, I am recording on a Sunday. Now you viewers know. I don't think that was relevant, but okay. Apparently, it depends on what day you come by to visit in this area, or throughout the game. Uh, there will be a new kid. Thanks for the magnet, it'll boost electric attacks. Yeah, I'll be giving it to my Flappy. Wow, I did not expect to get that, actually, so... Let's go ahead and give that the Flappy. And let's give you that magnet. I believe it's just in the regular items. Oh, there it is. Man, I got a lot of apricorns. You know, I never really cared for the apricorns, uh, to be fair. No! Actually, wait, I should show what Pokemon's around here. Oh, come on, just a Pidgey, that ain't worth it. I ha I have a Pidgey. Like, seriously. Eh, <sighs> okay. Well, let's just go ahead and continue upward then. Uh, alright, let's see if I can... Okay, good, no more random battles. And we already made it to the next city. Yeah, like three to four trainers, right? Not that many compel compared to making our way to Goldenrod. Which, I am not complaining. 
Uh, what's... Oh, no. Oh, no, not you. Is that my rival? Oh, wait. No, it's not. It's got, it's got a name Bill. I don't know why I thought it was. I'm playing on a small screen. Excuse me, viewers. A time capsule? No. No way. Yes, viewers. Actually, back when this game came out, we were able to trade games from the past. Um, but we can't say anything that existed in the past. Although, technically they did, but let's pretend they didn't. Um, like, for anything from first, first generation, you can trade, like, your Pikachu or Charizard or whatever into this game through the game link cable, but you couldn't trade them back, I believe. Oh, no, you could trade them back, my bad. You just couldn't trade, like, Johto Pokemon over there, any second generation Pokemon. Like, I can't trade a Pichu over to my first generation game, because Pichu didn't exist back then in that game. Although with the remakes, they do, and you can send them over there. Like, I can get a Pichu and Leaf Green and Fire Red anytime I want, but... Say, for that sake of that game, um, you can't. And it's pretty cool, in my opinion. Although, I won't be showing that or using it for this Let's Play whatsoever. Hey, how's it going? Lake of Rage? Parents of a Gyarados Swarm? I smell a conspiracy! Oh, new conspiracy theorists. They always entertain me. Yes, please, heal my Pokémon. I definitely need it. No, viewers, let's start talking about politics in the Pokémon game. No, no, I'm, I'll never do that. Never. I won't even talk about another video, no. Seriously, I don't see how people can, like, talk about politics for, like, days on end and just not be bored of it. Well, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and deposit that pseudo Wudo. And probably my Ninorino, too, because I don't plan on using Ninorino in the long run into a Nino King. Because there's another Pokemon I want that's going to be a second generation Pokemon that will definitely replace the use for my Ninorino. So, until then, Ninorino, I'll see you in my Fire Rail and Leaf Green Let's Play. I'm, I'm considering doing, like, just walkthrough episodes as well, where everything's more professional and I don't really screw up and stuff. And maybe uh, in the future, like next year or something, do gameplay videos without my commentary. I think that'd be interesting for... Well, anyone who doesn't enjoy my commentary. Uh, yeah, I guess. I'm just- I have the Spirit of Adventurer! And for that, he gives us an item finder. Why, thank you, good sir. Put it in the key pocket. Oh yeah, this city is called Ecruteak City. I forgot to say that. I never use the item finder. It's useful. I just tend not to use it. Oh, there we go. That's how you spell it. Ecruteak. Yeah, that's isn't too hard to spell. Very interesting name. It's creative. I like it. Um, let's see. This is where we're at on the map. We're actually pretty north. We're gonna be heading our way to the left first, compared to the right. But there's still plenty of stuff we can do in this, well, city. Uh, there should be... is this it? Is this the building I'm looking for? How I learned to dance like the Kimono Girls? No. Should I? Oh, will they teach me how to dance? You know, like Din and Oracle of Seasons? Oh, that's a great game. I love Oracle Seasons. How you doing today? They're also skilled at Pokemon! No way! Oh, if I could defeat all the Kimono Girls, it would give me a gift. Well, who says we're gonna accept my challenge? He wants Pokemon I can surf and dance. Uh, well, good luck with that. Is this his Pokemon, right on? Yes, it is. Well, the Rhino can't learn to surf. Oh, they're beautiful, eh? I'll take your word for it. Yeah, anything is possible if you love something. Alright, so... I'm not gonna have Flaffy in the front of my party for these battles. Um, Pidgeotto and Kolob are gonna be doing the majority of my fighting. Now, I'm guessing they're gonna have the color Pokemon to their kimonos. Oh, wait, no, Leafeon isn't in this game, so she's not gonna have Leafeon. Might be Eevee or something. I can't remember which kimono girl has which Pokemon. Oh, she has Flareon. Okay, well, Kolob is a stupid choice, then. Alright. I thought the red one would have it. Eh, budget. Let's just go ahead and send out Pidgeotto. Thankfully, their Pokemon are level 17. And she's using Tail Whip. You know, I thought you were going to give me more challenge than that. You know, maybe a flamethrower or something? Nah, she's not going to have flamethrower. She is how we're going to have, like, Tackle, Ember, Tail Whip, and I 
think, quick attack, maybe? I'm not 100% sure what kind of moves uh, Flareo gets at a low level and whatnot. Honestly, I've never used the EV Pokemon that much. I mean, most I've used them was like uh, Espeon and Umbreon in Pokemon Coliseum. Oh, I used them like crazy. More Espeon than anything. But that's just the Pokemon I used. I am very strong. Why, well, thank you. Are you going to have an... Uh, no, you're not going to have a Porygon, are you? I mean, if you will, I'll, I'll switch to my Flappy, but I can't go what Pokemon you guys have by the color of your uniforms. Whoa, whoa, wait. Now it's red all of a sudden? I thought she was wearing blue. Oh. No, she has an Espeon. My favorite one of the... Well, besides Jolteon, Espeon's my other favorite of the Eevee Evolution series. Which one are your favorites, viewers? Oh, wow, that'd be much at all. This might hurt. Oh, well, not many. Not really. Tackle doesn't have a high power. I mean, it's just a low-powered attack. That's why I always get rid of it the first chance I get. Oh, you got burned! You're not in the other burned way. Burned status. You know what I mean. Enjoy being burned. I shall finish you. There's just so many games I want to do Let's Plays on. Yeah, they're for my entertainment, but I enjoy entertaining others, too, if possible. Oh, hey, grew level 24. Very nice. Sayo. What an interesting name. Uh, you weren't even close to having me beat. Sorry. <laughs> That's just how it goes. Hey, how are you doing today? I suppose it is very pretty. Yes, I'd like to challenge you to a Pokemon battle. Are your uniform going to be red, too? Yeah, I think all their uniforms are red. I think they might have fixed that in uh, the remakes, but I'm not 100% sure. You can imagine they fix little things like that, but then again, they did so many other things with the remake. And if you want to play classics, this is definitely the way to go, but I recommend the remake over these ones any day, because there's just so much more to do. And you can trade it to your other Pokemon games, whereas these ones, you can only trade it back and forth with uh, other Johto games, and then red, yellow, and blue. Nothing else you could trade it with. Alright, your Umbreon- Oh, what? I expected your Umbreon to go down after that attack? Come on. There we go. Thank you for not missing, Quilava. Make me very proud by doing that. Alright, there we go. Oh, that's actually a good amount of experience. I'm very happy. You don't have any Pokemon left. Well, why not? I'm guessing you might have a Porygon, so I'm going to switch Flappy to the front of my party. It's one of these two, because I haven't encountered a Porygon yet. Oh, I'm cute! I thank you! Sure, I like the battle. I am trying to defeat all of you without going to a Pokemon Center or anything. Although I believe if you do get weakened by these uh, Kimono Girls... Oh, what do you know? She does have a Porygon. You can go back to Pokemon Center, heal up, and then come back here a little bit later, or anytime you want to defeat the rest of them and still get your reward. It's it's not that hard, so it's pretty cool that way. Oh, really? Super effective, and that's all it did? And I even have Magnet on you too, Flappy. You know, Flappy, Thundershock just isn't that great. <laughs> I have more use for Thundershock and, oh, Pokemon Yellow. That's just me. No, I really do want the new Pokemon game, so they look really good. That's all I have to say. And I don't have a quick attack or anything either. This is depressing. I am literally getting my health knocked down halfway as an Electro type Pokemon versus a Water type. Pretty sad if I say so myself. Sure, I missed my Pikachu, but I can live a playthrough without my Pikachu. Well, because I'm going to be getting Pikachu in my Leaf Green and Fire Red Let's Play anyways, so, yeah. Oh, I am, am I? Why, thank you! I like being stronger than I look. Yeah, completely. Alright, let's use Pidgeotto for the next battle. Pidgeotto could use some experience. Hello, how are you doing today? Oh, are you? Well, very nice. I'm glad you're good at dancing, because I'm not. I just make up my own dancing, really. Although, I wouldn't mind taking dance classes and learning how to dance. Oh, you have the Jolteon! That was stupid of me. Hey, Pidgeotto! What about that? You're not fighting after all. Sorry. Yeah, Thundershock would just eat you up, dude. No, no way. Yep. Ugh. Well, I saved my Pidgeotto from that attack. Does less damage against my Quilava. 
Why did I think that she was gonna have Jolteon? I just was not thinking, was I? There's just so many, uh, EV evolutions these days. There's probably a fairy one too in the X and Y, I can imagine. Don't quote me on that, I'm just saying it probably is. Because the EV is in every other Pokemon type besides, like, those obscure ones like Rock and Metal. Ow! Don't use Sand Attack on me! You shall get burned! I wish I got Flamethrower a bit sooner, but Col uh, Colava, when he evolves, is gonna get a very good attack. Very place to Flamethrower for quite some time until you do get it. So it makes up for it. Unlike trying to get Flamethrower for your Charizard in the first generation. You get it in the 50s, when you wish you had it in the 40s. Ah, oh, Mom, what do you want? Oh, is that, is that a Snorlax doll like you my one playthrough? She seriously bought me a Snorlax doll one time. Ah, yeah, that's kind of how it goes. Hey, how are you? I beat them all. Oh, you never even left a scratch. Oh, was it like watching a dance? I thought it was more like watching a brawl, but okay, sure. And here we get HM3. And yes, viewers, you're pretty much required to do this, because <laughs> you need this HM. It's Surf. Although, I don't have a Water-type Pokemon yet. But where will I be getting my Water-type Pokemon? Find out next time! Let's play Pokemon Gold! Have a good day!